Doesn't sound like the rest of the week is going to be as warm as it was today. Karen. That is for sure. Tomorrow, not bad, relatively speaking, compared to the rest of the week as we begin a long trim of below freezing temperatures. But again, the wind is actually aiding in the warm up here for this afternoon. After single digits and teens this morning, that wind really mixing the air, allowing for the big warm up. In fact, right now in Billings, how about 70 degrees? 64 in Bismarck, still cooler to the east, but not bad recovery in Fargo as well. 44 degrees. Rapid City at 64 near 70 degree temperatures right now in southwest North Dakota. Hedinger at 68 61 in Williston. Now the odds for snow as we get into spring beginning to increase again. It's that system number one that Alberta Clipper moving through Wednesday night, but especially Thursday during the day. Now bear in mind too, the sun angle here in the mid to late March is a lot higher than it was a month or two ago, and therefore a lot of that snow will be melting on contact with the ground. But if it comes down heavy enough, we get some banding we could easily pick a uh, get routine between two and four inches of snow, especially on grassy surfaces. But days like today, or at least afternoons, a lot of that uh, concrete and asphalt has really warmed up. So again, a lot of melting in contact with the ground. It's the weekend. That system is a whole different thing. Meanwhile, again, the probability for four inches or more of snow increasing over central and eastern North Dakota. Again, this is just for Wednesday night and Thursday or storm number one. It's storm number two. This is the winter storm potential with a Colorado low, not an Alberta Clipper like Wednesday into Thursday, but think of this as the odds of plowable snow getting the snow plows out. The odds are pretty high over central and eastern North Dakota. This is just centered on Sunday. We're talking about a potential for snow on Saturday and again on Monday, but a fairly high likelihood more inclement weather. And again, this will be the uh, prospects for a rather powerful high impact winter storm on the way for the weekend, especially Saturday night into Sunday. So it's something that we are definitely going to be tracking very closely as we look at that system again approaching from the southwest rain here for the uh, central plains. A lot of moisture with this system. Of course, we're going to be in the cold sector. Look for stronger east winds developing by Saturday into Sunday. East winds around 20 to 30 miles per hour. A large swath of snow. This is a snapshot late Sunday morning here, and the chance for snow just continues all afternoon. Now, remember, it's only Monday, so a lot can change. But the fact that a Colorado low is going to form, that remains to be a likelihood here. It's just the exact track determining on where that snow is going to be. But just bear in mind that with such a large coverage area, this storm is going to be awfully hard to miss. As far as moisture potential, at least a half of an inch, maybe three quarters, possibly more, depending on exactly how that storm tracks. Again, it's number two, the Colorado low I'm more concerned about than our midweek Alberta Clipper. Tomorrow, colder than today, but still not bad. Most of us will be in the 40s, 50s in southwest North Dakota, but as spring officially arrives, which the equinox is tomorrow night after sunset, then winter decides, hey, I'm not done yet. We're going a long stretch of near or sub freezing highs. Hmm. Here we go, right? <laughs> Finally. It's North Dakota. <laughs> All right. Okay.